द क्वेश्चन इज इनक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ डाइपोल मोमेंट इज यू कैन सी फोर डिफरेंट कंपाउंड्स आर गिवन हियर इन द रैंडम ऑर्डर ओके सी एफ फोर एन एच थ्री एन एफ थ्री एन एच टू एंड वी फाइंड आउट द ऑर्डर ऑफ डाइपोल मोमेंट ओके ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड टू डिटर्मिन द डाइपोल मोमेंट इन ए मालिक्यूल इफ द मालिक्यूल इन विच द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इज हैविंग रेगुलर जोमेट्री डिटर्मिन बाय हेवराइजेशन मालिक्यूल इन विच द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इज हैविंग रेगुलर जोमेट्री डिटर्मिन बाय हेवराइजेशन इट विल हैव जीरो डाइपोल मोमेंट दिस इज वन कंडीशन एनादर पॉइंट डाइपोल मोमेंट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू डाइपोल मोमेंट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द आइटम्स higher the electronegativity difference between the atoms higher the dipole moment next point dipole moment is also directly proportional to lone pair higher the number of lone pair over the central element higher is the dipole moment so these are the points we are going to use to answer this question okay we have four compounds <coughs> we have first we have cf4 cf4 is there okay In this case, carbon is having four valence electron and it is using all its valence electron for the bond formation. Means it does not carry any lone pair. Okay? Then how many bonds it is forming? Four sigma bond. And then in this case, hybridization will be sp3. And from here, we are getting tetrahedral geometry. That is the regular geometry. Hence, it has a zero dipole moment. Very interesting. Okay? Next, we have NH3, NF3. We have NH3 and it is NF3. One more thing. nitrogen forming three bond having one lone pair nitrogen forming three bond having one lone pair and in this case oxygen is forming two bond but having two lone pair so out of these three if we compare water molecule is supposed to have higher dipole moment <coughs> then nh3 and nf3 because it has more number of lone pair higher than number of lone pair over the central element higher the dipole moment so from here it is very clear water molecule is having highest dipole moment in this case it is going to be zero so it is having least so cf3 is supposed to be in the last no sorry cf4 but you can see how the options are given that in each case cf4 is given having minimum dipole moment having zero okay we find out <coughs> in this case uh, if we find the geometry lone pair is there lone pair is there okay in this case uh, three sigma bond plus one lone pair <coughs> three sigma bond plus one lone pair in this case also three sigma bond plus one lone pair is there if we go for the hybridization it will be sp3 <coughs> because three sigma bond plus one lone pair is equal to four sigma bond because lone pair is equal to <coughs> One sigma bond in determining hybridization. The total, it will be sp3. Total four sigma bond will get, and four sigma bond is uh, leading to sp3 hybridization. But now sp3 will get tetrahedral geometry in tetrahedral. If we place the lone pair, then it will show pyramidal. It is also pyramidal. It is also pyramidal. <coughs> Both are having same geometry. We can draw it. Nitrogen is there. This is lone pair. This is hydrogen. This is hydrogen. This is hydrogen. And in case of an F3, this lone pair is there. Lone pair position is always at the top. This is F, and this is F is there. Okay. Now, <coughs> if you show the dipole moment, nitrogen is more electronic to than hydrogen. Then we show dipole moment. The side electron density is moving to. Okay. And in case of di, uh, in case of a lone pair, we always show dipole moments towards the upward direction, eh? towards the lone pair. Here also we can show, okay. But in this case, fluorine is the most electronic to, um, then it will be pulling electron density from nitrogen. Situation is different. In case of ammonia molecule, you can see all these arrows are moving one direction. So the magnitude of the dipole moment is increasing. So in this case, dipole moment will be quite high. All the arrows are adding up in one direction, but in this case, you can see this arrow is going upward direction, and these three arrows are going other direction. In this case, you can see some here cancellation. Hundred percent cancellation will not be there because here this arrow and this arrow magnitude is different because same electronic to the difference is not there. So magnitude will be different. Some cancellation will be there, but hundred percent. One way we can say it is also polar by nature because it has lone pair, it has dipole moment, but it is having lower dipole moment in comparison to ammonia molecule. 
because in this case situation is different some cancellation of dipole moment is there in this case there is no cancellation of dipole moment all the arrows are going in one direction so i can say ammonia molecule is having higher dipole moment than nf3 and water molecule is having much more higher dipole moment in comparison to these two because it is having more number of lone pair and least we have cf4 least is what cf4 is there sorry it is supposed to be cf4 because in this case dipole moment is zero any such order is given h2o h2 after h2 we are getting nh3 so we can see h2o nh3 nf3 and cf4 option we are getting d option d is correct very interesting question if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel